Today's sales were crazy. We sold two of the most expensive items in the store. We resurfaced a very badly scratched game and Ryan and Jess had a baby. What up peeps? Cooper's not here right now, so I'm gonna start off the vlog. And it's 2 p.m. and the only two trades we have so far are Call of Duty and Battlefield 4. So I think we're going out of business. So a customer just brought this in to get reserviced, asked if it was toast. I don't think it is, but it's extremely scratched. So I figured we would do a little before and after. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. A few moments later. So I ran it on the highest level, which was a five. Take a look. It's got a couple little resurfacing rings which is fine, we'll just run it again on a, on a level one. It'll clean those up, but it looks so much better. Two seconds later. It just finished again. Now it's actually done. Let's take a look at some trade-ins, guys. These three stacks back here and this one in the corner, those are items that are just needing to be resurfaced. Uh, so we're just looking at these three things here. So first up, we have a Fuchsia Clear Pink Game Boy Advance. We have Tetris for Game Boy. Super Black Bass, Super Mario World, Namco Museum 64, Rush 2, and Donkey Kong 64. And then we have the Futurama Complete Series uh, DVD set here, which is really, really awesome. I love Futurama. It is one of the best, like, adult cartoons. Um, it actually probably is number one for me. <laughs> um, I love American Dad. I love Rick and Morty. Family Guy is okay, Simpsons are okay, um, but Futurama, American Dad, and King of the Hill are probably my, my three favorites, and Rick and Morty, um, but yeah, this is super cool. And then we have just kind of a random stack here. We have Pirates of the Caribbean DVD, Crocodile Dundee 1 and 2, Forza 3, Wally, Cabela's Amer uh, African Safari, Far Cry 4, Red Faction Armageddon, Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year, Call of Duty World at War, Minecraft for the 360, Batman Arkham Origins, Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal, Battle, uh, Battlefield 4, excuse me, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Shadow of Mordor, Dance Masters, Band Hero, Borderlands, XCOM Enemy Within, Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Ghosts, Mass Effect 2, just or Dance Central 2, XCOM Enemy Unknown, then we have Final Fantasy 7 Black Label, Final Fantasy Origins Black Label, and ODT, Escape or Die Trying, I think it is. Um, I believe that some of these I might have actually shown you guys before. Um, I think that some of these were waiting to be resurfaced, but then they didn't need to be. So some of those you might have seen before, but either way, there they are. How's it going, guys? My staff pick for today is Persona 5 on the PlayStation 4 by Atlas. Um, it's a Japanese RPG where you play as a high school student and you try to form relationships with other students to try to reform society. And the way you do that is you steal the hearts of corrupt adults. Um, basically, you go out, um, there's a day-to-day -day activities where you, you can go to school, there's after-school activities where you work a job and try to build your relationships with your friends. And then there's these missions where you can go into these palaces and try to reform society. Um, it's a very long JRPG. Um, it's about 130 hours for our first playthrough, um, but it's one of my favorite games. And it's not really like any other JRPG, but it's really fun. I highly recommend it. Hey everybody. We have blocks full of Switch games that came from Anna and Monica. Uh, they are my friends, and we have some stuff that um, Adam just almost like ran into something. We have some stuff that is not going to be available in the store because somebody has claimed it. This is one of them. <clears throat> oh my gosh, there's so much bubble wrap. And that is Jumanji, and this Yay. is Adam's. Adam's the one who actually like made the offer on all of this while I was at Magic yeah, like one night. 10 30 at night after we're closed. <laughs> okay, he was still at the store, so you were you guys were still here. And you guys were here for like an hour and a half after that. We have accident. 
the garden between the gardens between we have so many copies of that i'm pretty sure they got it from us too i think we still have like 15 copies at least yeah we've only sold a little a handful of them where's my games we have we don't get games. the vitamin connection we already have games well, yeah, you have I have a all lot these of ones games. so far. <laughs> we have Monster Hunter Rise Amiibo. Thank you. Uh, Cooper just took that. Okay. We don't have that one. We have Dust and Elysian Tail. We do have that one. I think there's two boxes because there's supposed to be 15 games in total. We have the Dangan Dang Rampa. Rampa. Dang there's Dang and Rampa. Rampa. There's an N. It's That's what I N. said. Dangan Rampa. You're saying Rampa. No, I'm not. R O N P A. R O N P A. Uh, Decadence Just Collector's give Edition. Me that. It's like in a steel, like a big steel book thing. We have Metroid Dread Collector's Edition. This is the game steel book, art book, art cards. And by the way, guys, we have a new distributor who is getting more of these, even though they only ever did one printing of them. So there is a good chance we're going to have some of these for sale, but it's not going to be that many. They're allocated, meaning they only get so many and they're they're favoring certain stores that make bigger orders. So we were probably going to be able to get some. Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. Is that the one that has the digital code game? Yeah. yeah. Adam in the background. There's like some sticky stuff on it. We have Xenoblade Definitive Works set. Xenoblade Chronicles. We already have that one. Do we? We do. Are you sure? The store doesn't. And then the last one, which is not the last one, is Fire Emblem Three Houses. Whoa, I already have that one. There was 15, and I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there is another box that is on its way, and we shall see oh. that soon. Thank you, Monica and Anna. Thank you, Monica and Anna. I call them, um, Annika on accident all the time because it's Anna and Monica. <laughs> Thank you, Annika. Bye. Worked on that green idea from earlier that was dropped off. Yeah. All the consoles. Yeah, we're just working on some stuff here. Awesome. Trying to get prices. Oh. Shut the f up! Hey, man. Can't, can't curse in the store like that. There's kids in here. All right, guys, so we have an announcement. Um, we had a baby. So uh, we brought him here. Their thought, parents. We thought you guys would want to see, you know. It's got Ryan's eyes. You looks just like him. his dad. Yeah, it just looks just like me. So here he is. Our pride here, and joy. Our pride and joy. He's a preemie. That's why he's in this yeah, contraption. Yeah, he has to stay in here because uh, but look, he's ugly. But he's yeah. got Ryan's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we're not having a kid but uh yeah got this cool not yet yet these are the rest of the trades from today we have a random stack here we have tom clancy's rainbow six vegas resistance fall of man burnout paradise a sealed far cry 4 uh, mass effect 2 god of war collection super monkey ball banana blitz Je uh, star wars jedi starfighter prototype 2 Snow Cross, Kingdom Hearts 2, Mass Effect 3, Marvel Superhero Squad, Build and Race, San Andreas, Wolfenstein 2, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, Dark Souls 3, uh, WRC 8, Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 5 Champion Edition, Need for Speed Rivals, Monster Hunter World, Morrowind Game of the Year, the best Xbox game, and Madden 12 Hall of Fame Edition. And then we have 
Mario Kart 8, Gunpei DS, uh, it's got rips and sticker residue. This stuff, I believe, was traded in from Adam. Uh, Lego Star Wars. We have Mario Party 10 with the Peach Amiibo. The box is opened and the game is opened, but the Amiibo is still factory sealed. And then uh, another uh, Super Mario Maker uh, 2DS refurbished from Nintendo, and another one of the Zelda ones. Um, I don't know how many of these Adam has, but he has traded in a ton of them, but they do really well. They keep selling, so I guess he can continue to trade them in if he wants. Then we have a bunch of strategy guides here that came in today. I think that the one on the very top was from someone else, and then everything else was all from one person. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to go through and show you them individually because there's too many, but... Mario Kart Wii in there, Mario Kart 64. But well, there's some good ones, lots of Mario stuff, and then uh, Kingdom Hearts, some other RPG stuff, and then a bunch of Pokemon ones at the very bottom here. And then lastly for the trades today, we got some more cards. So you guys have seen that we've been taking, you know, a few more cards here and there. I'm still not trying to, like, do a ton of them, but if people bring them in and they're cheap enough and they're cool enough, I can't really pass on them. We have one Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's a Nadir Servant. We already have one of these in stock. It was the same person that traded this one in. So I knew it was a $12 card, which is the only reason I took it. Um, but we got that. There are other cards we have taken that are just not worth selling individually. And our plan is to make some like double jump booster packs out of them. We have some Yu-Gi-Oh, but not enough. And then we have, we're building our, our Pokemon thing to be able to do that. Um, so... I bought an entire binder of Pokemon cards today. They're all base set, jungle, and fossil. I put all the holographics in here. There are probably some more cards that we're going to sell individually as well. There's some first editions and stuff, but they're either non-hollows or they're just like commons. But there's some cool ones in there, but this is all I did for today. The first two came from someone else, though. We have the Hoopa V. This is the promo one. It's a full art. And then... Well, the other one is under here somewhere. Uh, but everything else, all the old stuff came from one person. He was the original owner. We have the Electabuzz Black Star promo. We have a first edition Holographic Machamp. They're all first edition, pretty much. Um, some of these are kind of rough. So some of them are marked as poor, and then all the rest are marked as fair. I should also mention that a lot of them, you can't tell when they're in the top loaders here, but a lot of them are kind of um, warped, I guess you would say. It's really common with cards, but they kind of... They're warped like this a little bit. I know I'm kind of bending a little bit, but it's already like that. Um, just to show you guys, but um, so none of them, are, none of these are like mint or anything. We have Lapras Hollow. We have Muck. This is the other one that came from the other person, uh, Zach Zachy, and I don't know how to say it. This is a newer one. And then we have Chansey, Polyrath, Hypno, Victory Bell, Kangaskhan, Electrode. Kaboo Tops. I did put these in order of price. Uh, Meowth Black Star promo. This is the one that comes with the Game Boy game. I think it was uh, the Pokemon trading card game came with that originally. We have a Japanese Erika's Dragonair. We have Ditto and Raichu. So those are all the cards I put in individually. And I'll give you just a quick peek over here, but these are the ones that um, I still have to go through. But there's some more rares in here. Like, these are rares. Some of these are rares, but they're they're non-hollow. Not going to go through everything. Some of the trainers are rares as well. This is how they had it separated in here. <laughs> some more rares that are just non-hollow. There were some first edition ones in here as well. So some of those are going to be worth selling. Uh, there's, like, the first edition Wigglytuff. Um... But all of the bulk, all the stuff that's worth, like, less than a dollar, basically, the plan is to build some some booster packs, like I said. I know a lot of other stores will do a couple of Digimon cards in there that are all the same. Uh, but I know some other stores that carry cards will do little booster packs like that just to get rid of their bulk. So I think that'd be a fun idea for us to do, but it's going to take a while before we have enough cards to actually do it. Today's sales were incredible, guys. Um, I did want to go over just a couple of the sales from today because they were really, really crazy. Between two transactions with like six or seven items total, um, two customers ended up spending $3,000, which is crazy. But we did sell some really high ticket items. So uh, we sold a bunch of consoles as well. So let me see. 
Looks like we sold two more Pokemon Legends Arceus today. Uh, so we sold a teal Game Boy Color. We sold Lufia for the Super Nintendo. We sold one of the Metal Gear Solid uh, little statue things, which is cool. Uh, Super Smash Brothers controller. And these are all in-store sales, not website sales, by the way. Um, 120 gig PS3 Slim. We sold an Indigo GameCube, an N64, a 320 gig PS3 Slim. And then we get to the, the big ones. These are, well, that last PS3 was 130. Everything else is 130 or more. We sold Panzer Dragoon for the Saturn. We sold a Game Boy Player with the disc. We sold the complete uh, Fantasy Star 4 for the Genesis. That was 300 right there. We sold the uh, Fantastic Night Dreams Cotton for the Turbo Super CD. That was $950. And then the big boy, we sold Panzer Dragoon Saga for $1,200. Since we got those Switch games earlier that Abby unboxed, I wanted to ask you guys for the question of the day today. What is your number one favorite Nintendo Switch game? There's plenty to choose from. No one has a wrong answer, of course. It's all personal opinion. For me, it's hard to say, but it's probably Animal Crossing just because that's the game I've put the most time into. I don't necessarily think that it is the most fun because I think Breath of the Wild is a lot of fun, but I'm also really enjoying Pokemon Legends Arceus, so it's kind of hard to decide. Mario Odyssey was also freaking amazing, but let me know in the comments what is your favorite Nintendo Switch game. If you don't have a Nintendo Switch, I'm sorry, um, but we'll have other questions other days. So thanks for watching, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again tomorrow.